Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with the Ancient Symbolism series, the 47th Problem of Euclid. An article taken from Rosicrucian Digest, Volume 11, Number 3, April 1933. The 47th Problem of Euclid. It may, when understood in its geometrical presentation, arouse an interest in the arts and sciences, as is often claimed, but the emblem is seldom presented in such light. To the average student of mysticism of modern times, the emblem means nothing, although it suggests some law pertaining to the square and triangle. Geometrically, of course, the problem is a result of the work of Pythagoras, who studied the ancient Egyptian mysteries in the old temples and later founded a branch of the Rosicrucian Brotherhood. By it he proved that the area of the square was equal to the area of two smaller squares built upon the triangle and vice versa. To the mystics, however, the problem proves the contention of the masters that the triangle is a symbol of perfect creation because it contains all and will support all that may be built properly upon it. We find this principle utilized in many secret organizations as a law for the placing of the feet of the initiated. The feet are either placed so that they form the sides of a triangle or the two sides of a square. There are, of course, other esoteric interpretations which may not be given here. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.